again, here's a, this is the largest spirochete we've ever seen in terms of girth. It may not be the longest uh, spirochete we've ever seen, but in terms of just thickness, this is a, this thing is just, this is a python of the spirochete family right here. And uh, just a huge, huge thick spirochete. Now, the question is, this fellow had some of the worst periodontal disease I've ever seen. Uh, to just to remove his teeth and get all the granulation tissue cleared out of him was a major project today. But we did remove all of his teeth. And here's another one of these extremely massive type spirochetes. Um, this was a severe, severe case of periodontal disease. And so I, yeah, I don't know that maybe these larger varieties are, are particularly aggressive and cause tremendous problems. This poor gentleman has a type 2 diabetic. And uh, to think that you can have something like this living in the crevice between the tooth and the gum and not have it invading your body and making you sick other wares, places is just astounding to me that dentists have ignored this problem for years and years and years. And they're still telling people to use toothpaste and, and use stuff like Listerine and various kinds of oral over-the-counter mouthwashes. And this poor guy, he was conscientiously brushing his teeth his, every day. And, uh, but underneath the gum, where the toothbrush doesn't reach and he can't clean, down in the crevices between the tooth and the gum, he's got a veritable nursery of some of the nastiest creatures that probably I've ever set eyes on. Can't tell you. Had, had he been on Clorox bleach or his grandparents were raised with salt and baking soda, they didn't have this disease. They kept their teeth till they died. And this poor gentleman is only in his 40s, and here he has lost all of his teeth to a thing like this. And I'm not kidding you, this is a really, really massive and nasty bug.